Hello everybody, my name is Bollaj and what you can see here is the Apple MacBook Pro with a touch bar. And Apple said that the touch bar is handy for everyday apps, like for example if you open up your browser you can just, um, uh, for example, go here to any website that you could find also on top. So it replaces kind of your regular um, touch um, a screen that you have on a Windows or iPad um, device, but otherwise there's not much else to see here except for escape key and the quick shortcuts that you know from um, the regular um, old school days where you just had these buttons up on top. But some um, developers produced some crazy apps, you can see here the whole list, that just don't make any sense, like for example the touch fart. So, if you have here the program open, you can see three buttons appearing here with three different sounds of farts. Why would I not need that? I don't know, but there's obviously also more interesting apps, like for example the Lemmings app where you just touch the screen and then a Lemming appears. If you touch it again, another Lemming appears. If you touch the same Lemming again, he will stop Lemmings that walk around and that's basically all you can do here with this app. So this is quite cool if you just want to have lemmings running around on your uh, notebook but with any touch bar application if you go and do your other things like for example just um, go in any other app the um, touch um, area obviously changes and if you go back you can see here that now and uh, the lemmings are walking down here again so let me show you more awesome apps actually like for example here the night rider touch bar <laughs> Or there's also actual games that you can play on here, like the Space Bar Space Fight. So you have to go up and down with the up and down buttons and then hit the space button to shoot. You can imagine how much fun this is, but for mini games it's of course awesome. If you press the escape key, nothing happens. You can die if the um, ships run into you and obviously I will just close the app now since I'm kind of bored of apps like this, but I'm never bored of Nine Cats, so let's just start that. <clears throat> yeah. If you are more of a Christmas feeling, let's uh, hit up Santa with the same idea. Alright, then what else do we have? We have an awesome touch bar, a bar, which means we have a few different drinks here from champagne to beer, martini to long drink that we can just open up and drink. So again, this is just an application which plays an mp3 when you hit a button. Not that thrilling. <coughs> hmm. But as with the first app with the farts, it did the same, but there's again more games that you can actually play, like for example, you can play Pong. Yeah, awesome or not, I don't care, I will just close it again for you guys. Then more coming up, you can even play piano on here, which is probably the most sophisticated app that you can uh, use here on the touch bar. So let me play you something. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I played piano when uh, like 15 years ago. Anyhow, if you are a Pac-Man fan, you can play Pac-Man. Go left, right or up and down here. Got you there. So again, enough Pac-Man. Then what else do we have? We have a Find G, which is just a mini game, uh, so you have to use the touch bar quite quickly. Let me open that up for you. And then we have here the arrow I have to find. I have the double clapping hands I have to find. Then this one, and then I think we have that one. And then my time ran up and I did four this time. So it's always random emojis that you have to look here and then find down below. Last one, if you know Chrome, if you don't have internet, um, a dino appears and if you um, press the space button, you can uh, jump with the dino over cactuses. Now you can do the same thing on the touch bar. 
with less animation and no high score or number counting, anything like that. Again, just a mini game, proof of concept and bullshit app, you could say, that you can do here on the touch bar. And then we're already through here with my favorite apps for the touch bar. Let me start a few lemmings again and say goodbye to you guys. And I hope you will subscribe to see more of these. You can find all the links to these applications down below. A few you have to self-compile on GitHub. Um, but I can also, if you want that, um, give you a zip with all these 12 apps to just download and double click like I did. And then you can play them or try them out um, also for yourself. So thank you much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj. Until next time. And please tune in again.